Welcome to Outback Outdoors. Make sure you like, subscribe, and click the alert to stay up to date on all our new videos. Finally, it has been the hardest week of my life. Okay, that's an exaggeration. It really hasn't been the hardest week of my life, but it's been, it's been a tough week because I couldn't get here any sooner than today. Uh, my, my grandma passed away, which uh, she lived a great life, 94 years old. And so we celebrated her life um, yesterday in New Mexico. Phil has been here and it's been wacky. It's been crazy. Uh, mature bugs on their feet here in Kansas. And I've wanted to be here, but I couldn't. So we're up in the same tree that I killed my buck out of last year. We got a bean field here that usually is cut. But this year it's not. It's still really pretty muddy. The farmer can't get in there to cut it, so we got standing beans. Trail camera down here that shows that we've got some good buck movement. It's November 7th. It's a great time to be in the stand. So from now through this week, we should just have some great, great sits. It's a little warm. Okay, it's a lot warm. It's almost, it was like 76 degrees when I got to Kansas today at 2.30, and then it's supposed to cool off on Thursday. We've got a south wind, which throws our, our, uh, our scent directly out this waterway that kind of divides this field in a little bit of a half. It's that time of year. Great time to be in the, in the tree. It'll be exciting to see what we, what we find this year. This year is, uh, is going to be special because we lost Nick Percy about three weeks ago to COVID. Missouri, the show me state. Right now we're, it's showing us mugginess, but you know what? It's the perfect conditions for our fall food plot. Nick Percy's here with us, which is always good because he's got the helpful hints and, and all the tips and tricks. We've got this whole plan and a method and a procedure. And I think that's where the safety comes and you know you're gonna get growth when you do it right. So we're down here in uh, Boonville, Missouri this weekend and we're working on some plots with the guys from Outback Outdoors. As you can hear, Trevin come rolling up in the background here. And we're, uh, we're doing a pH correction. So when you do a killer food plot soil test, one of the things you're gonna be uh, getting back in the information is your pH levels and pH is extremely important because based on your pH level will determine the availability of nutrients that already exist in the soil as well as the nutrients you're adding and mixing in when you either disc or rototill. So in correcting a low pH situation this particular field here has about 5.3 pH and it's requiring 4,000 pounds or two tons of agricultural lime. And in this scenario, as you can see here behind us, we have a field of soybeans already in. So we're not going to be able to drag an ag lime spreader back here to put our fall plots in. So we are opting for option number two, which is a faster acting lime. It's a very short term process though. So it, it's, it's quick to act and quick to leave. Where agricultural lime takes about two, two and a half months and it's a longer sustaining sweetening or neutralizing of the soil and can last up to two, two and a half years, in fact. 
and uh, Nick's uh, actually younger than me and got sick and just never came out of it and uh, he'd had some health problems when he was younger um, that might have led to that because Nick is one of the hardest working guys I've, I've ever been around and he's going to be sorely missed but um, I'm excited to be here. I got Tanner in the tree with me. Um, he's got a hunt coming up and I had to uh, threaten him to take away his um, his lunch money if he didn't come and run camera for me. So at least I got him for a couple days. We should be set up for a pretty exciting week. And now I'm gonna quit talking and sit down and be quiet. Good job. We are just about at prime time. <laughs> Farmers just about to cut this big field, so we're not gonna get out of the tree or anything, but at least the beans will be cut. Be interesting to see how the deer react with them running the tractors and the trucks. And then we'll just hunt we'll just it like normal. Yeah, here they come. I don't think we're gonna have anything sneak through until probably last light after they've got a little bit or if they're on the other side of the field. But you never know. Sometimes I hear guys, they'll cut as they make their loop. Deer come right out. We'll see. It's got to get cut. Might as well be today when it's 75 degrees. Might as well cut it now and be done with it. Cover noise. Cover noise, yeah. Cover scent and noise. I have to really, I have to really rattle, really loud. You know, it's amazing though how deer don't react to tractors. I mean, literally, they're just, they just don't see them as a threat unless they get out and decide to hoop and holler and talk loud like they're doing right now. Bang around like they're doing right now. said that right as he started to open it all or dang it. Shouldn't have said that. Our evening comes to a close. I've learned a couple things. The wind dies down in the evening in Kansas, and farmers don't cut beans like you would mow the lawn. A little different pattern. Always learning. I think that's the important takeaway today. We're gonna let it get dark, and then we'll get down. I don't think it's gonna, we're gonna have the big boy stroll by tonight, but They'll be done with this field this evening. And then we'll, uh, it'll be like it. They were never here. And the deer will go back to rutting and hopefully we get an opportunity at one of the mature bucks on this farm. It's just nice to be in the tree. It's, it's a little warm, I gotta be honest, but it's nice to be in the tree in November. Good things to come this week, for sure. Hey, we just unpacked our fall supply of Wilderness Athlete. And we are excited to announce to you, the viewer, a promotional discount. Now, if you're not familiar with Wilderness Athlete, let me tell you a few things. They've got a full line of products from dietary to performance-based nutrition and much, much more. Check them out. For us, early season, 
Hydrate recovery is essential for the high country when they've got warmer hunts because let's be honest, you're going to make sure your bow is dialed or your rifle or muzzleloader is dialed. But the most important piece of equipment is you. Why would you not take care of that? So go on wildernessathlete.com, use the promo code Outback Athlete and get your discount today. Thanks for watching Outback Outdoors. We encourage you to comment below and as always, like, subscribe, and click the alert to stay up to date on all our new videos.